Hello from HB Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to do some uh, benchmark scores on a MyTouch 4G ROM running on a uh, HTC HD2 or also a T-Mobile HD2. Uh, this ROM does not come with an overclock kernel. I'm going to add one and do a different benchmark video later but we are running at a gigahertz. I'm um, set it for performance so we can get the best scores out of it. I'm just going to run a six benchmarks so you can get an idea of how this ROM is going to run without you know being overclocked so let's get started let's kill everything first FPS 2D of course it should average somewhere between 56 and 59 Yeah, 56. I've seen better, but not much. This is usually about the same. But some people are interested, so I always want to run that. Kill and run limb pack. We'll run a couple limb packs because they're really quick. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Fair enough. That's average of 33 that's about right with Limpack but now let's go for the one everybody really wants to see Quadrant So far playing with this ROM, it's a nice ROM if you like HTC Sense. It's a slightly different version of HTC Sense. It's uh, from the MyTouch 4G. I believe it's almost a direct dump, just modified enough to run on HD2. It's a, it's a decent ROM. I'm not really big on Sense. I like vanilla Android, so not quite my taste. But keeping an open mind, it is a fairly nice ROM. There are some neat features, of course, because it's HTC Sense. Uh, a variant called Glacier, I believe. Uh, let's see what we score here. Uh, Eleven ninety-one. That's not bad running under you know standard clock speeds. Not bad at all. Uh, don't make fun of the background. I just haven't customized this ROM yet. <laughs> let's run uh, Nina Mark. Give you some idea of graphics. Twenty one point one, that's not nearly the best I've seen on this phone. And not the worst, I don't believe. I've seen some older ROMs running worse, but not great either. But keep in mind it is standard clock, that will come up some. Okay, now we're gonna run Smart Bench twenty ten. Cause this is one that I actually like because it shows more than just one set, it shows uh more your processing power and your graphical power so I enjoy this benchmark quite a bit it's quite slow on this phone though so back to how the ROM is um, if you like HTC Sense you, you, if you've played with the MyTouch 4G everything's pretty much working off of it of course there's no front facing camera and the uh, 720p video recording is not working on this phone which makes sense because I have yet to use a ROM that it actually works on uh, some people have said they've got it working but I don't believe the hardware is there don't hold me to it I could be wrong but uh, that's not working so that's something to keep in mind if you, you don't set it for high definition um, I'll do an overview video for this ROM in a few days I wanna really play around with it and you know work all the kinks out and 
you know, I want you guys to really know what's going on in case you decide to load this to your phone. And Smart Bench may have crashed. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, not used to it being this slow. I'm almost always overclocked on this phone. Because this phone runs quite well at 1.5. And um, when I do the overclock video, I will let you know what overclock kernel I use. I already have an idea of which one I'm going to use. But uh, I may try a few different ones because I've heard some are better for uh, sense ROMs and some are better for vanilla ROMs. So I'll let you know. But I'll try to get it overclocked to around 1.5 no matter what. So let's display our index scores, and as you can see, not bad on the uh, the games index for this phone. I mean, as you see, it's below the G2 running stock, and you know it's below the Shift 4G. It's a uh, right with the Nexus run one running at 1.3 with Cyanogen. So that that's actually good. You don't see that on many uh many of these. Um. When we're overclocked, I, I look for a big improvement in that. I'm kind of disappointed with the productivity index. But like I said, we'll see what it's like when we're overclocked. And one last benchmark for graphics ben benchmark for you will run NeoCore. It's the uh, Qualcomm's benchmark for their uh, Adreno C uh, GPU. And it takes a about 30 45 seconds to run it's just going to give you a frames per second at the end but i just wanted to get some baseline scores on this and let you know what you're going to run at if you want to run it standard clock speed some people don't like to run over clock um they're not horrible scores considering the age of the hardware but they're not the greatest either i know we can do better <laughs> so uh, we'll get it overclocked and uh, i'll link that video under this one as soon as i get it made and we'll see what kind of scores we can come up with. Okay, your score will be coming up in a second here. Thirty point one, not bad, not bad on that one. But keep in mind this is Qualcomm's benchmark made for their GPU, so I, it's not that I don't trust it, but you know course they're going to be nice to their own <laughs> hardware uh, so that's all for this video like I said look for a uh, area overview coming up for this ROM just give you a quick look at it trays a little different from regular sense the bar at the bottom slightly different instead of the phone being in the center but I'm not gonna get into all that right now I hope you enjoyed this video uh, keep a lookout for the overclock video and uh, like I said, in about a week or so, I'll put up an overview of this ROM, and then I'll switch to another ROM and keep it going. Hope you enjoyed.